Well, researchers are one step closer to a cure for HIV. Molecules that have been engineered to, quote, kill infected cells that could wipe out hidden reservoirs of the HIV virus. Antiretroviral drugs keep HIV in check and can stave off AIDS in patients, but they've been unable to eliminate the viral reservoirs, and this DART molecule, as it's known, it promises new hope for eradicating the virus. Well, this molecule at first binds specifically to a protein in HIV-infected cells. Well, the second arm of this molecule, it binds to CD3, a molecule found in T cells. Now, this results in, uh, in what they've seen in Nick simple blood samples. The dart can target the hidden reservoir of the HIV that lies dormant you know, promising new hope for people suffering with HIV. And this has been one of the trickiest parts of combating this virus. Um, this is being developed out of the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Macrogenics Inc. is the lab doing it. DART stands for Dual Affinity Retargeting Protein. What do you make of this new engineering science? They're getting one step closer. We hear that term one step closer, and we, we see false hopes all the time with this kind of stuff, but uh, cancer too. Um, but no, this, this seems actually very promising because what they're doing effectively is they're, they're training these proteins. They're kind of like making them these smart proteins that go in and they target specific things and they're tapping into what you call the reservoir. And a lot of times, is that although we do have drugs and treatments that can attack the bad HIV infected cells, we also know that in these reservoirs we can't get in there and what happens is these they'll just keep pumping out those bad cells no matter what we do, it'll always come back. So if you can get it in there and get straight to the source, that's extremely important. Question is, how cheap is it going to be? How accessible it's going to be in the future when it gets on the market? That's right. Well, uh, Duke Human Vaccine Institute and senior author of the study. He actually published this in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. His name is Barton Haynes. He had this to say, this is ex an exciting approach that has the potential to clear a pool of cells that are so hard to get rid of, the virus that lies silent and hidden in the host. So this has been the main problem for those suffering with HIV. Looks like they are one step closer. You're right. We hear that all the time. We've covered, we've covered medical advances here on the lip regarding HIV time and again. And um, when something new like the surgery Surfaces and articles. I'm really excited to present it because um, people suffering with this, it's you know, it gives them a reason to hope, which is really important in this right. process. No, yeah, and th that vast, vast majority is in Africa. So we're talking about countries that may, might find it a lot harder to get access to these kinds of things. So I, I hope that it comes out as something that can be used for everyone, not the rich people, the elites that are infected with HIV, but for everyone, the common person. This biospecific antibody known as the Dual Affinity Retargeting Program, DART molecule, offering new hope to those suffering with HIV.